What's up guys? I'm back playing more WoW Classic and today we're in Hillsbrad. It's where we left off last. Um, we got some quests to complete and actually I just googled um, this quest right here, the hammer may fall and this is a part of a quest chain. I think there's four quests in total but at the end of the quest you get a freaking super good axe. It does like 70 to 105 damage, which literally would increase my DPS so much. So we're gonna actually stay in Hillsbrad, and then um, we're gonna finish this quest. This makes this quest uh makes it so we have to go to Arathi. So we're gonna end up going to Arathi Highlands uh, just for this quest, though, and then. Probably after that, we're gonna go to Booty, uh, excuse me, Stranglethorn, and then just do quest in Stranglethorn, cause I like questing in Stranglethorn. I've done it like fucking millions of times, but I don't know. I always enjoy it. But before we start doing the um, Hammer May Fall quest, let's do some quests in Hillsbrad. Um, just cause we're here in Arathi, we have to make a little journey there, and. Um, for this Hillsbride quest, we just have to go to the Alteric Mountains, which is right here, where my mouse is. And we're gonna do that. So... But yeah, we have to do the Stone Tokens quest. And we have to complete a quest. Um, we have to go to the Undercity, but we could do that later. And I think we have, I think this quest is a part of, yeah, the Lordamir internment camp. So this quest, um, I think we could do it at the same time as um, stone tokens. So let's, let's see. We might be able to uh, knock out two quests in one, which is perfect. Uh oh, and someone's attacking me. Oh, what the heck? Who is that? Oh my god, it's a guard. What the hell? Dude. Chill, chill. All right, we're getting close to Dalaran, but I've never, I haven't seen Dalaran um, before Northrend, so this is gonna be pretty interesting. Oh, and look at that, that's looking like Dalaran right now. A little giant mage shield, ow. These guys are putting the works, uh, giving us the works right now. We gotta get away from this dude. Oh, a tin vein. Uh, if I run out of combat, I'm gonna farm this tin vein real quick except it seems like this guy is freaking chasing me to the freaking ends of narnia dude oh my god end of the art you know what we're skipping the tin vein it's fine wow look at this place guys it's freaking uh dalaran look at that this reminds me of like something out of like uh the elder scrolls wow this is cool oh we've flown over this place plenty of times all right, so we have to get these stone tokens. Uh, bring 10 one stone tokens to Keeper, whatever, Belvaril. Um, what, who do we have to, who do we have to kill? Uh, do we have to kill these elementals? Elemental slave, that's what it seems like. Enter the territory of any citizen of Dalaran by such hunting the internment camp is safer than Dalaran itself. Okay. Um, oh, it's safer than Dalaran itself. Let's take a peek inside Dalaran. Let's take a little peek, sees. Hopefully we don't get jumped behind this wall. Uh, let's make it- Oh, wait, we can't even- We can't even get inside. Huh, interesting. Alright, well, I guess we'll start with, uh, whooping this guy's booty. Oh, what the heck? Charging. He freaking... He pulled aggro from so far away. Holy moly. This guy went, This guy was ready, man. I'm gonna hit him with the lightning bolt. Oh my god. Okay, we're actually gone. Oh my god, dude. We're gone. We're gone. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm leaving. I'm leaving, guys. I'm freaking leaving. Oh, we had mail we forgot to check. Whoops. We could have checked the mail, but eh, it's fine. Oh my god, dude. Those guys gave me the freaking beats, bro. They gave me the reverse beats. I thought I was about to give them the beats, but nah. They hit me with the Uno reverse card. Jeez Louise. Alright, so the Lord Amir internment camps. Uh, I'm guessing that's what's these buildings. 
R4? Or is this the internment camp? Oh my gosh, man, these guys are pretty, uh... These guys are pretty dangerous. Oh, no, that looks definitely like an internment camp. Uh-oh. Pull on the rock, boy. This definitely looks like an internment camp, right? Lord of Mere internment camp. Very nice. Okay. So it's said to farm the guys at the internment camp because they're going to be uh, a little bit weaker, so... Hey, they were right. Oh, let me turn down the music real quick. I feel like the music is a bit so loud. Oh, let me get away from this guy. He's probably going to try to attack me. Thurgist. Oh, and we're, this is really good to farm these guys because... First of all, they're going to drop, drop us um, like cloth and shit. Um, and also, they drop a companion. They drop a cat companion, which is really cool. Uh, we might be able to take this guy. Oh my god. I didn't even see this dude. Alright, we'll deal with this guy first. Yeah, they drop a black tabby cat companion. And they're really cool. Wait, did he kill my searing totem? What happened? I thought I summoned my searing totem. Alright, looks like no one's gonna jump me from behind, which is great. And then what do we have to do in the internment camp? We gotta do something in the internment camp. Okay, these guys run, so that's good to know. Um, no, that's not it. I think this is it. Oh my god, what are you doing? This guy just freaking came out of nowhere. Uh, we'll hit you with... Actually, we'll hit, us with, hit ourselves with the big heal. And then we'll pop Blood Fury and then just whack his face down. Uh, hopefully we can get off a flame shock. Uh oh, our searing totem's down. We can summon another one. Okay, so um, prison break-in is also for the Lord of Mere internment camp, which is uh, good. Oh my god, I keep forgetting to use totemic recall or totemic call to get my mana back. I keep right-clicking my totems. All right, we got one of these uh, worn token things. Oh my god, who is this? Archmage Answer and Rune Weaver? Oh jeez, he's a freaking skull. Holy moly. Alright, but uh, yeah, Prison Break-In should be at the- Oh, they're right here. Richter. Oh, it looks like we have to kill them. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, because they betrayed us. Right, right. Okay, that makes sense. So we have to kill the betrayers. Let me read this quest one more time. Find the traitors and recover their artifacts. Um... The thieves like us? Okay, it just says re uh, retrieve the artifacts, so we can't- I don't think we could talk to them. I would like to just talk to them and be like, hey guys. If you would just, you know, maybe kindly hand those artifacts over, please and thanks. And in a perfect world, they would say, sure. And I would be about my merry way, but nope. This is fucking World of Warcraft, we gotta fucking fight people. Um, hopefully that, um, uh, other- Oh my god, wait, wait, what? Wait, what the- Who are you? Wait, wait, how is this guy targeting me? Wait, 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 what, what is going on? I need to run. Wait, what it, What are these things? What the hell? Dalaran Thurgus? Oh my god, my Searing Totem is targeting somebody across the fence. Oh boy, that was a that was a big time bug. Oh no, I did not. I was not expecting that. I was like, wait, wait a second. What the heck is going on? Now it all makes sense. So it looks like you can't enter Dalaran, but um, you can be on the outsides of Dalaran. Oh my God, and this guy got um, I pulled him. Yo, chill, chill. I'm leaving. I'm leaving, man. Oh, this dude was attacking me. Where did he come from, bro? Oh my god. Oh my god. This place This place is dangerous, man. I'm in the danger zone right now. All right, you know, we're about to freaking just smack this guy down. Freaking hit him with a WWE smackdown. So freaking interrupt that bullshit. Let me summon my uh, Searing Totem. Help me with the deeps real quick. Interrupt that BS again. Oh, this motherfucking summon Old Spirit bullshit. Oh my god, he's summoning so many. He just keeps on summoning them. Alright, well, yeah, get out of the get out of my freaking game. Alright, let's drink some more mana. 
Oh, and let's do the well-fed bonus too, because we're probably gonna need this. Because we're gonna be uh, fighting some mobs, you know. But yeah, I'm really excited to do this uh, Hammer May Fall quest, and that's probably what we're gonna what we're gonna do for the majority of the video. Hopefully, I can finish the Hammer May Fall quest by the uh, end of this video, and it's not like too long. Just so I can show you guys the cool axe that we're gonna be able to get. It's gonna make us do so much more damage. And unfortunately, it's just a green item, but it still does. It's still good. It's still some good damage, you know. All right, let's just hit this guy with a shock to the face. Oh, nice! We got a crit off. I want to turn up the music just a little bit. I'm trying to hear that shit. Oh, oh man, these are gloves that we don't really need. I guess we could auction house them. Oh yeah, we still need, and we need to do our um, Call of Air quest for a shaman. Wait, who's attacking me? Someone's attacking me. Oh my god, where, where, how is this guy attacking me? I am so confused. Like, what is going on? This place is super buggy, holy crap. <clears throat> I think it's because um, there's like a little gap in between here, and then that's what I'm pulling. Someone, some, someone inside there is getting pulled from that tiny little gap. I think that's what it is. All right, looks like we're gonna have to take a two v one fight, but we could definitely manage. We have a well-fed buff, and we have totems to help us with our defenses. It's this motherfucker. All right, so I need to pull these guys. We might be able to just pull this guy by himself. Let's try it out. Hopefully, we don't get jumped from behind. That would be uh, really nice. Okay, now we did pull uh, this buddy, but it's all good. We could definitely take these guys uh, two on one. Let's hit him with a shock, and I'm gonna go big heal, and then blood fury. Hit him with another earth shock. We apply lightning shield. Or oom, which is kind of bad. Uh, okay, it's good. We're not attracting this spider, which is nice. Uh, we're gonna pop a heal. So we're very low. I'm gonna smack this guy in the face. Uh, hit him with the flame shock just to help us with deeps. Uh, we're running really low on health and mana. But we can definitely manage. Uh oh, this guy's walking towards me. I gotta be careful. Uh, okay, I'm gonna pop a health potion just to be safe. Oh man, these guys were really tough. Okay, let me, uh, oh my god, we need to freaking reset. Holy crap. Jeez Louise, these guys were tough. I probably need to start upgrading my arm, my gear. My gear is, uh, I'm probably, def I'm definitely out leveling my gear a lot. But we haven't been getting too much uh, good gear from these uh, the quests that we've been doing. Maybe if we go to Stranglethorn, it'll change. Oh my god, I canceled my totems again. I keep forgetting to use totem totemic call. I'm so dumb. All right, so we need eight more uh, stone tokens, and then uh, we need to talk to the traders. Uh, they're level thirty-three. So it might be, I mean, it might be doable. I feel like these guys wouldn't be too hard or too difficult, you know? Uh, we get a free shock, so let's just shock them with Earth Shock. Oh, we get another free shock. We'll end off with the um, Frost Shock. Okay. Nice, we got a token. Okay, let me use this ability Totemic Call. Return that guy back. Get some mana. Um, can we make some bandages? We can. Let's make some of these bad boys. Oh, we almost have, um, 150 first aid. Alright, um, so last time we took two of these guys on, they kind of gave us the works. Um, so let's, let's make sure we're fully topped off. We do have a mana potion. Um, you know what, I'm gonna just toss this mana potion because it sucks. I'm gonna put these ones because they're better. Uh, we don't have health potions, which, um... Which are very useful when fighting, when questing. But you know what? 
We're just gonna full YOLO this and just try to take two again. Okay, no one's behind us, so we're not gonna get like jumped by anyone. Oh, we got a crit off, which is really good. It's gonna help us, um... It's gonna help us, um, you know, chunk this guy down really quickly. Okay, nice. This guy's gone. He resisted my uh, flame shock. It's pretty bad. I'll reapply lightning shield and then come with another flame. And should be able to just smack him down. No big, no biggie. We can earth shock him. Nice. All right, so that crit in the beginning helped, and those crits towards the end. So that was really good. Uh, let's totemic recall. Lightning shield, and then get our mana back. Okay, what's? Oh, this guy's level 34 though. Oh, so these guys are um, kind of. They could be kind of tough for me. I mean. There are four levels above me. I don't really have any, like, buffs on me, or, like... Yeah, I don't have any buffs on me. Besides the well-fed, so... It might be pretty bad. I was thinking about this, uh... Rum, but it doesn't stack with well-fed, which is a bit unfortunate. Okay. I wanted to make sure to hit him before he killed my Earth Totem, because that would have been annoying to resummon. Um, let's just hit him with the Earth Shock. Okay, he resists. Not good. Just keep on trying to smack him down. I'll put my Lightning Shield back on for more deeps. Another fire. Fire Shock. Flame Shock. Very nice. Alright, so it looks like these guys don't really want to drop their tokens too often. Which is, um... It's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Alright, let's see. What are we supposed to do? Are we just supposed to fight these guys? Can we talk to them first? Or does it just say we have to fight them? Okay, it looks like we just have to fight them. Let's use Totemic Call again. Get some more mana back. And how many traders do we have to... Bloodstone Wedge. Wait, what is this? How do I... F charges the rocket when you use a 3... Um, is there like something I'm supposed to do? Do I just have to kill these guys? So here's Alina. Um, it says Bloodstone Wedge, Bloodstone Marble, Bloodstone Shard, and Bloodstone Oval. So there's two of the captive undead maybe the last one's no last one's not in here because we, we already checked in there huh well you know what oh let's take this melon juice first and you know what? we're just gonna fight these guys it's fine they're gonna respawn anyways let's just fight them and then hope they drop the thing that we need i can't cast that yet all right let's start off with the lightning bolt to this guy's dome Charging. Just commence with the beat. Oh man, this guy hit me with the 102 um, damage crit. That's pretty bad. Oh yeah. Oh, he's running away. What the heck? Get back here. Bloodstone wedge. Oh nice. All right. So these guys do drop it. All right. Okay, they're a little bit tanky and can do decent amount of damage, but definitely doable. Let me drink these melon juices first. I don't want to waste my nectars. Alright. <clears throat> Alina, your ass is grass. Bring that ass here, boy. I don't have a target. Uh oh, he's gonna. Yep. Oh, resist. Oh, he resisted my um, flame shot. Oh, he double resisted. Sheesh. This guy's a freaking tank. Yeah, let me see this. Let me see this uh, first person action real quick. Yeah, she's on her leg. She's on like, she's on like her legs and her hand trying to smack me and shit. Are oh, you trying to run? I don't think so. Oh man, she is running though. I'm missing all my hits. Oh my god, Miss Perry. Man, where you where you going? Where'd she go? What the fuck? Alright, let me fucking end this nonsense. 
Jeez, man, she was kind of tanky. Oh my gosh. She was resisting hell of my shit. Alright, so we got two of them. The third one's out here, but we need to find one more. Um, let's deal with this Thurgist first. Um, we probably want full mana against this guy, because he's going to be casting a lot of spells, so... Let me drink real quick. And we got five more minutes on our well-fed buff. So, we don't need to eat yet. Alright, very nice. Full mana. Let's summon up our totems. And then... I'm gonna start with the lightning bolt and just run up to him and earth shock him. Oh, okay, well, he's just, uh... What is he doing? Wait, what? Who is this guy? Oh, he resisted. The son of a gun. Alright, yeah, you don't resist that, though, buddy. Oh my god, please, come here, please come here. No, I don't want to attract the other one. Please come here, come here. Oh my god. I didn't want to attract the other one, I was freaking scared. Alright. Richter, your your ass is grass. Your ass is next. Where's your where's the other uh traitor though? I only saw three of them. And I didn't see the other one in that building, but I mean I have to assume that he's in there. Um yeah, let's just fight this guy. It's fine. And I gotta remember that this guy runs too. I don't know if he pulls the aggro of the Dalaran people, but he does run. So I could just just be aware of that. Maybe this guy drops two blood gems. Yeah, we need a bloodstone mar- Oh my god, he's running fast. He's freaking fast boy. Let me just hit him in the face with a lightning bolt. He's gonna come back to me eventually. But we need bloodstone marble and bloodstone oval. Yeah, you want some more? You want some more of this freaking mace to the face? Smack. Alright, so he drops bloodstone marble. Marble. Let me uh, return my totems for some mana. <clears throat> uh oh, we're pulling this guy. Oh, okay, it's just one, so we, might, we could deal with them. His other friend didn't spawn, which is good. I can't that yet. Let me summon my totems. Help the, uh, help me uh, kill this guy. Oh, and we got a nice crit off and a parry. Uh oh, hopefully um, I want to cancel my searing totem. Oh my god, I can't. I'm just, I just need to use my to uh, totemic recall. I need to get used to that. But I wanted to cancel it because this guy was walking, but... Let me, uh, check this building again, but... Man, I didn't see him... There. I didn't see anyone there. Maybe I, I was... Maybe I should have went up the stairs or something? I don't know. She noticed us drinking, so... Oh nice, we got a crit off on her. Bro, 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 bro! What is up with the pathing in this? What is up with the, the um, mobs in this place? They're targeting me through fucking fences and shit. I need to get out of here. They're literally targeting me through fences. What the hell, man. Okay, so that thing does look like it has an upstairs. So maybe we were in the right place, but we just, uh, missed it. All is well, though. Oh, man, this internment camp. These guys are freaking hitting me through walls and shit. This shit's crazy. This shit's crazy. Oh, my God. We need so many more uh, stone tokens. Holy, holy crap. We need seven more. We only found three. Sheesh Luis. Okay, uh, let me clear the outside of this place first because I just have a feeling that these guys are gonna, you know, make my day a little bit worse if I don't. Actually, you know what? They're all the way super far up ahead. We're just gonna go ahead and... I'm just hoping that there aren't two people at the front. Okay, so they were walking towards my direction, so... Let me, um... Follow them. 
so we don't end up crossing too much. Oh, nice. We got a bunch of crits off on him, which is really good. Oh, nice. And a stone token. Oh, these uh, mobs are a little buggy. It says that he was uh, attempting to run away, but he didn't run. Okay, yeah, so we did miss a... Uh, we did miss these stairs. Yeah, these mobs are definitely a little bit bugged. Eh, it's okay, I guess. Indie company, right? Okay, so we're gonna get the last bloodstone from our boy, our trader. Well, not really our boy anymore. He was our boy, but now he isn't. He has betrayed us. He switched sides. Alright, um, it looks like there's two of these guys. I don't think I'll be able to just pull him without pulling the other guy, so... Oh wow, actually we did just pull him without pulling the other guy. That's actually really nice. Let's hit this boy with the uh, Earth Shock to the dome. Dome skis. And then we'll cross shock him when Oh okay, he resisted. Okay, it's good that he's running uh, this way. Alright. And uh, we can go ahead and uh, just shoot this guy in the face too because we have our totems up. We don't want to uh, have to resummon them and waste mana. Might as well just use them. Um, let's go with an Earth Shock and then with Blood Fury. Should be able to kill him easily with Blood Fury up. Nice. Ooh, we got another Stone Token. Okay, uh, are there any enemies here? I hope not. Okay, there, there's one upstairs, but. That's it. Let's use, let's use Totemic Recall. Nice. Get some mana back. Uh, pop a Bandy. Oh yeah, and by the way, guys. The reason why I'm recording this video, I completely forgot to even talk about this. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. But, yeah, I was gonna play Five Nights at Freddy's once I dinged level 30. And I dinged level 30. But, unfortunately... Five Nights, is, Five Nights at Freddy's is fucking, has so many bugs, so many performance issues. Still, even after I updated my BIOS, you know. Oh shit, there's a guy here. Oh my god, there's two guys here. Okay, okay, chill, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it. But yeah, even after I upgraded my BIOS, and fucking had on the lowest settings 60 frames per second it's still still freaking i saw um performance issues like uh lag spikes frame drops all that stuff and i was like man you know what screw it i'm just gonna wait till they fix the game so it's you can fucking run it on a on a computer and my computer is i think it's pretty decent like i have some pretty decent stuff but for some reason, still doesn't want to run. And I did notice that updating the BIOS made it actually um, perform a lot better. But still, oh my god, this guy's level 35. Oh my god, and this guy's level 36. Uh oh, well, um, you know what? I ain't no bitch, so we're about to just try this shit. Uh, and we're about to get the well-fed bonus as well. Because we're probably going to need some, we need some sort of buff to kill this guy. He's freaking six levels ahead of us. We're going to be... We're gonna be missing a lot, I feel like. Um, so we're gonna have to definitely summon our totems. Um, sheesh, I don't know what I could do to really uh, speed this process up, uh, process up faster. Go Blood Fury, obviously, in the beginning. Um, okay, so she's right here. I can't cast that yet. Oh my god, dude. Where'd she go? That spell is ready yet. Okay, well, you know what? We're just... I guess we're getting right into it, boys. Alright, fortunately, she didn't resist any of my um, Earth Shocks earlier, which is really nice. She's resisting a lot of the stuff here. Uh, I want to make sure I save my... Oh my god. We're doing, like, no damage to her. Uh, let's pop a big heal. Oh, fuck. She's going to hit me with the fireball. Holy, 181 damage. 
interrupt that. Pop Blood Fury. Reapply Lightning Shield. I'm trying. I'm doing everything that I can. Uh, interrupt. Oh my god. Resist. She's gonna do it. That's a big hit on me. 37%. Interrupt. Let's get some more... Let's get a Searing Totem to try to make more deeps. Hopefully we can interrupt this. Oh, she resisted. Okay, let's pop a first aid while she's casting Fireball. Oh my god, we're dead. Well, that was a bit unfortunate. Um, Wow, we're all the way in Alteric. Holy moly, the freaking walk is going to be bad. Okay, guys, we're not going to do that quest because, man, that guy is too freaking strong. So we're just going to finish these token quests, though, which we can do without any problem. My searing totem. Uh oh. Hopefully this guy doesn't pop out. Of okay, he's going the other. He's going another way. Should be able to kill this guy. No biggie. Nice. Okay, we just need one more uh, stone token. Oh my gosh. Dude, we're finding... Oh, if these are two of the same things, but we're finding weapons, but freaking we can't even equip them. Shamans can't even equip uh, two-handed swords. How unlucky. That spell is oh no, she resisted and she's gonna get her friend to help her. No! Uh-oh, hopefully we can just... Hopefully it's just this guy, okay. Oh, let me interrupt you. Unfortunately, this mob is a little buggy. He doesn't run to me once I interrupt his spell. So I have to stay close to this guy. Okay, now he's running to me. And this guy spawned, which is not good. Oh my god, he resisted. I gotta fight another one of his friends. No, we're not fighting him. We're running. Bye-bye. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna freaking give this guy the works real quick. Oh man, that frostbolt hit for a lot of damage. Hey, yeah, smack down. Oh no, I need to hit him one more time. Yes. Man, get out of here, spirit of old. No one wants to see you. All right, okay, that was a pretty questionable pool of mobs, but we managed to we managed to make it uh, make it out alive. Pretty good. Okay, we need to heal, though. Oh, man. We just need one more token. Killed three of them and didn't drop. Oof. And no cats either, so it's pretty bad. Pretty unlucky. I I'm not sure if these guys dropped the cats. Maybe it's like a different Dalaran person, but... I feel like all the Dalaran people should drop the cat. I could be wrong, though. I've been wrong plenty of times. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to do a little two-on-one action, which is uh, just uh, fine by me. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Uh oh, he resisted my uh, flame shot. It's not good. I'm trying to flame shot it again. Nice. This one hit. All right. Cool beans. First guy down. Start off with, and then we head over to the second guy. Hit this dude in the face with the flame shock. Um, and this guy's bugged, so I guess that's good for me. We just stand behind him so he can't hit us. Oh, now he's hitting us. Very nice. Oh my god, we're so low on health. Holy moly. Dang it, we didn't get the uh, 
We didn't get the stone token. Wow, these guys, uh, these guys do not want to drop it. My mana is low. My mana is low. I need more mana. I need more mana. Okay, so let's just, we're just gonna farm these guys till we find the last token. Okay, so we're just. We're just gonna farm these guys till we find the last token. And then we're gonna head over to the Arathi Highlands. Or we're gonna turn in the quest and then we're gonna head over to the Arathi Highlands. Because we need to do this Hammer May Fall quest. That is going to be so important for our... Um... Our, uh, our shaman. All right, are you gonna drop the stone token? I'm really hoping you do. Uh oh, he's got a friend. And he resisted. Oh my god. Okay, I don't think I could take this fight. Let me actually try. I could try to take this fight. You know what? I might be able to burst this down fast enough. And uh, let's just let's just switch targets to him. Uh oh, we have to actually kill this guy though. She's gonna shoot lightning bolts at us. Okay, that was uh kind of questionable. Okay, let's put a pop a uh, lightning shield and then a big heal, and then we should be able to uh, deal with this guy, with Biggie. Fortunate, unfortunately, we're Oom. Um. I'll get him with the frost shock. Very nice. Oh my god, no token. Alright, hopefully this guy has the token on him. Or else we're gonna have to do some more hunting. Not enough for mana. Oh, he's got the token on him. Nice. Okay, so we got all the tokens. Very cool. Okay, so we're good here. Let's go back to Terran Mill, turn in the quest, and then I'll meet you guys at Arathi afterwards. Uh oh, this guy's uh this guy's looking like he's about to get owned. Dang, my helmet really sucks. Like, some fat dong, by the way. Freaking 33 armor cloth helm. Yikes. Alright, guys. We're back at Terran Mill. Unfortunately, we were unable to finish the quest, but we finished one part of the quest, which is... Which is okay. Hello. The other part was a little bit too hard for us. Alright, nice. We get 30 silver. Uh, bring four braces of earth binding to Keeper, Bell of uh, Varil, and Terran Mill. Okay, so we have to get them from those, uh, probably from those rock elementals. Um, but we're not going to do the quest here just yet. Um, we're going to go to Arathi and do that quest chain so we can um, get the axe. Oh, and our sage fish didn't sell, but we sold one, so that's pretty good. We got 288 gold. All right, um, let's, oh, whoops. Let's go to uh, the Arathi Highlands. Um, let's start on this quest. West, the hammer may fall. Okay, we are here at Boulder Gore. Um, right off the bat, I'm thinking it might be a little bit of a problem traveling through here, but you know what? Let's just let's just try it. You know, I'm still recharging. these guys are orange uh, difficulty level against me, so. It could be pretty tough, but I am going to level up soon, so that will make them a little bit easier to fight. Now let's see if these guys run. Okay, so these guys don't run, so that's even better. Alright, cool beans. So we have to kill 8 uh, ogres and 10 enforcers. Wow, that's a lot of enforcers. Um, hopefully we can do it, and then we have to kill a bunch of more ogres. The whole quest chain is just killing ogres, basically. So we're gonna be killing a bunch of ogres. I'm hoping that we could complete all four of these quests um, tonight. That would be really cool, so we can get a weapon. That would be very nice. Oh, and there's a barrel of sweet nectar here. Pretty cool. Uh-oh. And this guy. This guy wants to fight. Okay, hopefully he hits my- oh, okay. Alright, fine, fine. We'll, we'll fight, we'll fight. This guy said, me smash, you die. Sheesh. Can we have a big heal? We did get a crit off, so we got our focus buff going on. So we can shock him for cheap. Pretty much free. We'll hit him with another shock to the face. 
lightning shield just to, um, just so he can hurt himself when he hits me. Probably end up taking him out. There we go. Oh man, we're like so low on health. Alright, let's open this sweet nectar. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy. Okay, uh, let's pop a big heal and then we need to just heal fully. Uh, we don't have anything to eat, but it's okay. We're a shami, so we got our heal spells. Alright, let's get down to business. It's time to freaking invade the Boulder Fist outpost. Fuck up some ogres. These guys did nothing wrong to me, but I'm gonna freaking own them anyways. Someone told me to. It's for a quest. Uh, I'm gonna pop my Searing Totem just to get more damage in. Reapply Flame Shock. I should have him with the Earth Shock, but eh. It's all good. Alright, very nice. Okay, we got another Enforcer here. Got some Enforcers up there. Let's deal with this guy first. Uh, we can uh, get our mana back too. Fortunately, this place isn't too crowded with mobs. They're kind of like separated, so that's good. It's gonna be a lot easy. It's gonna be pretty easy uh, going through this dungeon or well, mini dungeon. I'm gonna shock you in the face with the lightning bolt. Uh oh, he resisted. That spell isn't ready yet. Hit him with the searing totem and commence the beatdown. Uh oh, he resisted my earth shock. Oh my god, he's resisting a lot. I'm gonna pop a blood fury because he's resisting so many things. Holy moly. Oh my god, he resisted my earth shock again. Dude, this guy is a freaking meat shield, bro. He's resisting after resisting. Oh my god, he resisted again. He resisted my earth shock again. I have to pop a big heal because of that. Dude, this guy is a. F this guy does not want to go. He look at look at him. Oh, uh, look how many times he's resisting. Holy fuck, dude. Parry, resist, resist, parry. This is not looking good for me. Okay, we had to pop a mana potion. Holy crap, dude. That guy resisted, like, my whole entire, like, every single attack. Holy shit. That guy's a fucking monster. Okay, uh, the guys, in the guy inside was pretty tough. Uh, I couldn't beat him, so I'm just gonna try to ding level 31 off of the guys outside here. But yeah, these ogres are kind of tough. Holy moly, I was underestimating them. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay, so we need five more ogres and six more enforcers. Oh shit, I don't know why I'm hitting this guy with a. Uh, I don't know why I hit that guy with the lightning bolt when I'm freaking so low on health and mana. Okay, we're just gonna have to do this. I'm gonna pop Blood Fury just so we can uh, maybe DPS him a little bit faster. Uh oh, that's not good with those resistant dodge dodges. Uh, we'll drink this uh, beer. Hopefully we don't die. Oh my god, we're so close to dying. <laughs> Holy crap. These guys are tough. Oh my god. This is actually my first time, uh, maybe second time questing in the um, Arathi Highlands. Because usually I play Horde, so I don't really uh, come here. The only time I come here is to uh, learn first aid. But this is actually like, I think maybe like my first or second time actually questing here. But those um, elemental things, kind of, uh, those were kind of interesting that we saw in the beginning. Uh, we saw some elementals actually on our way here at the Circle of West Binding. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of other binding things or whatever. So that'll be, maybe we'll quest here. Eh, actually probably not. I'll still, I'm gonna still quest that Stranglethorn. I love Stranglethorn. It's so, it's so fun. I've probably done those quests millions of times, but never gets old, man. Okay, so we need two more ogres and six more enforcers. Um, we haven't dinged 31 yet. We probably will ding it. Um, maybe after like four more ogres, five more ogres. 
So we're going to do that, and then we're going to go inside and kill these enforcers, because the enforcers are kind of tough. Uh, I don't know if this guy's going to be able to reach me, but... Oh, okay, he can. Alright. He can do that, but I can't. That's... That's a bit unfortunate. What is that? What is that called? Uh, no clip? They got fucking no clip in this motherfucker. Alright, this guy's level 53. Or, excuse me, 33. That's level 33 as well. Okay, let's just go for this dude. Um, we're a little bit oom, um, so let's just drink up. Hopefully our Searing Totem doesn't uh, pull aggro. Alright. Start with the Lightning Bolt to this guy's dome. Hit him with the Flame Shock, he resists. Uh-oh. Um, our Rock Fighter weapon's almost running out, but we could just uh, rebuff after we uh, get this guy down. Reapply Lightning Shield, help us with the DPS. And I guess we'll end off with the Earth Shock. Come on, you can do it. Nope. You can do it, man. I believe in you. Nice. Okay, so ogres are down. Oh man, we're gonna need to kill a lot of ogres before we uh, level up. Sheesh. You know what? I have an idea. Give me one second. Alright guys, here's my plan. So we're gonna turn in this quest, Battle of Hillsbrad. And then hopefully, or not hopefully, we're 100% gonna ding 31. We'll head back to Arathi and we'll uh, slay some ogres. Um, but let me, um, before we do that, since we're already in the Undercity, let me sell the sage fish that I have in my mailbox. Alright, let's see what um, raw sage fish is going for. Oh wow, so we have um, bidding starting at 3 gold, buyout at 4. I think I will probably do like 389. We'll just uh we'll do it just barely cheaper than the uh, original. So we'll do 390. Seems good. Seems whatever. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, we go again. All right, uh, let's... Okay, we got some stuff that we can auction house too. So let's see Lesser Moonstone. See how much it sells for. Oh, my Lanta. That is a big boy. All right, we'll sell it for 449 Whoops, not three. Oops, not 43 So we'll sell it for uh, 450 This one might sell. Uh, do we have anything else? Oh, Glimmering Flamberge of the Monkey? Let's just type in Glimmering Flamberge. Uh, okay, we'll do this. We'll sell this guy for... Uh, we'll just sell him for 10 flat. 10 gold flat. It is a level 27 item. You know what? We'll be... Eh. Alright, we'll start bidding at 8. And then we'll do buyout at 10. How about that? That seems pretty good. And we'll do the same thing for this. Actually... We'll maybe go a little bit cheaper. Let's put one more expensive, and then let's put one cheaper. For this, we're still going to do the buyout for 10, though. Um, but the bidding will be cheaper. Uh, okay, so do we have anything else we need to sell? I don't believe we do. Okay. So we got that going. Uh, let's turn... Oh, wait, we have to sell these um, gloves. Oops. We have, we have more um, equipment to sell. Uh, you know what? We'll just do like two. Not we'll just do like three gold, something like that. And then we'll do. Uh, we'll start the bidding at four ninety nine, and then we'll do buyout at uh, six gold. Uh, maybe seven. So bidding is at five gold for this. Yeah, it's fine. I feel like main hands don't really sell for too much. I feel like it's more of the two handers that are uh, the super ex that you could uh, price super expensive if you find one. Yes. Especially at such low level too. 
All right, here's my boy Vary Mathras, or however you pronounce his dang name. I'm always Let's go ahead and turn in the quest into the Scarlet Monastery. Kill High Inquisitor White Mane. Oh, these are pretty bad for me. Wow. Uh, we'll just accept the quest anyways, because why not? Um, okay, Battle of Hillsbride. This is what we're doing. Okay, so we get these rewards, but these are also pretty bad for me. I guess we'll go with the two-hander sword, because it's probably going to sell for the most. And this is better than what we have on, I guess, maybe? Hey, very nice. We dinged, we dinged. Alright, so we're level 31. Um, hmm. So, there's a bunch of builds for Enhancement Shaman. Um... Some that take toughness and some that don't. I think I will take toughness here, but maybe I'll skill it up last, just so I can maybe get more points, a point in like elemental weapons, because it'll probably be more useful uh, in the early game as opposed from toughness. Um, my armor gain probably won't be that much, but toughness is a really good level 70 talent to have maxed out. Not only does it increase your armor by 10% once it's maxed out, it also reduces uh, slowing effects on you, the duration of slowing effects on you by 50% when it's maxed out. Which is really good. So let's say you're getting like slowed, that shit is like, if they slow you for like 5 seconds, it only slows for 2.5 seconds. So it's, it's really good for PvP. This is a really good PvP talent, not so much PvE because, I mean, it's, it's just not so useful in PvE. Um, you're more focused on like doing more DPS and stuff as opposed to like survivability because I mean you're like in a raid you're gonna have like freaking like five healers or something like that but I'm I don't know if I want to take this character into a PvP route we might go PvE but nevertheless we're still gonna put a point in elemental weapons I'm considering though the toughness five points in toughness um, so let's see increase your damage caused by your rock battle weapon by 7% your win for your effect by 13% whoops uh, and it increases the damage caused by your flame tongue and frost band by 5%. Very good. So just a flat um, damage buff. Okay, let's go what back now? to um, the Arathi Highlands. Hopefully we can um, hopefully we can complete this Hammer May Fall quest. Okay, guys, we're back at Boulder Gore. Had to take a minor detour just to level up, um, but these ogres should be a lot easier and. Um, they're looking a little bit easier because they're not orange uh, level against me. They're only yellow. So uh, let's just get right down to uh, the beatdowns. Nice, we got a crit off. I'll summon the Searing Totem just to help me clear this guy a little bit faster. My Lightning Shield. And it's good. This is good. They're not. I'm not getting too many parries or resist. There was that. There was one parry and there's one miss. But um, other than that, I kind of owned them pretty hard. It's pretty cool. All right. So let's get to smacking. We got to kill six more enforcers. Oh, this guy's still orange level. Uh oh. But even though he's still orange, we did gain a level. So it's not like he's. It's not like we didn't get stronger. Uh oh. That's a resist. Uh oh. That's a double resist. Okay, it's not looking too hot for us right now. We'll pop a Blood Fury. Uh, let's try to hit him with the Flame Shock to get more deeps. I'll pop a Healing Potion. Lightning Shield. Alright, hit him with the Earth Shock. Nice, it hit. Alright, so he... It's not missing as much as uh, before, so that's good. Usually we would end the fight with like literally a sliver of health, but... We managed, we managed. Okay, we need to kill five more enforcers now. We can go ahead and lightning bolt this guy to the dome. Uh, hit him with a uh, flame shock, which resisted, unfortunately. Hit him with another flame. All right, let's wait for our earth shock to come up. Earth shock him. Uh, you know what, we're gonna pop a big heal now. We'll just do it right now, we're getting pretty low. He's doing some decent damage on us. Hit him with the Earth Shock. And then hopefully we can just hit him with the Smackdowns. Okay, we're gonna just end it quick with the Shock because he's getting a little strong. It looked like he was he had a buff on him. Oh, we need to pop our um our stamina buff, the Rumsy Rum Dark. Get some stamina. It'll definitely help us clear. 
Pop the shield. Recall our totems. Drink the brewskis. And I'm not drinking a brewskis uh, today. Um, instead, we got ourselves a 7-up. Okay, so this enforcer is um, a yellow level, which is pretty good. That means that killing him is going to be a lot easier. We got a nice crit off on him. So let's just keep smacking him down. The power of the mace and the totems. Uh-oh, dodging a parry. That's not good. Okay, so we need to kill three more. Should be very easy. Let's totem recall our uh, let's recall our totems back. Head a little bit deeper. All right, this guy was the one who caused me a little bit of trouble, so I'm back, baby. I'm back for revenge. Do we have any melon juices? We don't have melon juices, so we'll just drink the nectar. Let's make sure we're completely topped off everywhere before we uh, engage in engage in battle. Alright, so we're gonna start off with some lightning bolts to the dome. Hit him with the flame shock. Uh oh, that's a resist. Uh oh, that's a double resist. Go with the blood fury right away. And commence the beatdown. Hit him with the shock. That was perfect timing too. I got I got to use my shock with the uh, discounted price. Hit him with another earth shock, because we don't want him to We don't want this guy to keep getting um this buff going on. Alright, you know, we're gonna hit him with another Earth Shock because we keep missing with our weapon. It's all good. Alright, but nice, we got him. We took him down. Okay, now we got uh, Big Boy number two, who's probably gonna be pretty difficult as well. So let's make sure we're topped off. Oh, he's only a yellow level. Alright, so he might not be as hard as this guy because he was orange. Okay, we need two more ogres. Um, I have a, I have a bad feeling about this quest. I have a feeling that obvious. I mean, it's gonna get harder, so we might not be able to get the axe this video. Um, and if it does get harder, we're just gonna um, scrap this quest for the meantime, and then we'll um, head to Stranglethorn. <laughs> Excuse me. And I'll probably end the video at Stranglethorn. Probably not gonna pick up any quests there, just because this video has been going on for a little bit. Uh, we can leave that for the next video. You know. You feel me? Alright. Just need one more. Let's pop a heal. We call our totems. And, ah, there we go. So we got an enforcer. It's an orange level enforcer. Um, we're just gonna take him on with, uh, even with, um, not that much mana. Should be okay. Okay, he resisted my flame shock, unfortunately. We can pop a mana potion if we need to. Probably do it. Alright. Gonna hit him with the Earth Shock. Very nice to hit. Looks like uh, my hits are hitting, so that's good. Hit him with another Earth Shock. He got a big crit off on me. I think it was like a 100 damage crit. But we are making it out. Very nice. Alright. Quest completed. That all right, that level really did help me. It made things a lot easier because they were resisting freaking everything I was throwing at them. It was freaking crazy. But um, now we have to go to Hammerfall, which I already discovered because I went um, had to go back to the Undercity. So let's go to Hammerfall. We have to turn in our quest. Um, find Drum Fell in the in the Hammerfall Outpost. Okay, so let's go do that. All right, guys, we made it to Hammerfell. Now let's go ahead and turn in this quest. I'm gonna ignore this quest giver because I don't want to stay here in the Arathi Highlands. Um, maybe I'll have like an Arathi Highlands leveling video when I make another character, but probably not gonna do it now. Um, so let's turn in the quest. He's right here. Strength. Uh, and honor. Boom, turn that in. Slay 10 Wither Bark Axe Throwers, 10 Headhunters, and 8 Witch Doctors. Go forth to victory. Okay, um. So it looks like this is a yellow level quest. So we might be here for a little bit. Yeah, we might be here for a little bit because I do want to, um, you know. Do these quests 
Um, because I want this axe, man. Okay, first off, let's just see what level these guys are. Because um, when I did do the ogre quest, it says the quest was a yellow level quest. But the monsters were um, orange level, so... Let's see, um, uh, let's see what's going on with these trolls. Okay, we're at the Witherbark Village. Oh, and these trolls aren't that bad, they're yellow level. Okay, we could stay here and do these, uh, quests. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. I think there's maybe just one more quest after this, and then I'll be able to get the axe. Uh, let me double check, though. Give me one second, let me, let me freaking beat this, give this guy the beats real quick. Okay, uh, bad news guys. So I just looked at the quest and the last quest we have to kill a bunch of elites. Um, and they're level 38 and 39. So holy man, we probably won't be able to do this quest. So I think, I think I'm gonna abandon this quest. And we're just gonna go to uh, Stranglethorn. I think that seems like the move. Okay, guys, yeah, I'm gonna just head over to Stranglethorn. Uh, man, I should have really looked into that quest more before I started questing. I could have just looked at the last quest like I did now and realized that I'm way too low level for this, but... Eh, it's all good. You know? Life is all about making mistakes, am I right? Am I right? Boom. Okay, um... Let's sell some of these equipments first before we go to Stranglethorn. Alright guys, we're on the Zeppelin to Gromgol base. Um, probably gonna end the video after we land. Just because we've been going for a little while, but we're starting in a new zone, guys. Stranglethorn Vale. Many of you guys already know this place. I am very familiar with this place. One of my favorite places to level up. I just love the whole, um, I love the whole setting and the scenery to the place. It's like in the fucking jungle and shit. But yeah, here we go. Discovered Gromgall base and we got a ding. We got a ding, boys. Quests. I love me some quests. Alright, but, um, probably gonna end the video here. Let me see if we can find a nice angle. Ooh, maybe we can end the video by the water. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. We did some pretty uh, good things. We dinged a level, finished up some Hillsbrad quests. Unfortunately, we couldn't do the quest that um, gives us the really good axe, but we should be able to make up um, with doing quests in Stranglethorn because I think, I'm pretty sure we'll get a lot of good equipment tra uh, training here. So this is gonna be good. In the next video, we're going to start training at Stranglethorn, start the quest in Gromgol, move over to Booty Bay, and um, see what happens there. Um, I'm going to put my Shaman quest on hold for now. Um, we'll get it eventually, you know, it's not, it's not a big deal, too much, especially when it comes to like the early game and leveling. But yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't bring you guys a Five Nights at Freddy's video. I'm hoping they patch the game. The last time they patched the game was on December 23rd, and it is January 13th right now. So, uh, hopefully they update the game and allow freaking people to just play the game without any performance issues because, man, those are some... I have just, like, bad frames that whole entire game, but... Yeah, sadly I couldn't do that today, but uh, at least you guys get more WoW, I guess. Um, that's currently what I'm playing now. Uh, maybe I'll do another single player game just because we couldn't do Five Nights at Freddy's. I might do that. Um, so, I guess stay tuned for a single player game coming in the near future. Um, I might not do it 
tomorrow, but uh, maybe sometime this week I'll uh, fi uh, get a single player game to play so we can, um, you know, try to see if, uh, you know, try to find some good games because usually those like indie single player games have like really good stories and stuff, so that'll be really fun. But yeah, that's, um, that's it for the video. Hello B signing out. Peace.